Just one of the many great performances by the Springboks at the 2019 Rugby World Cup. And I'm joined by one of the ladies that made it possible this time. All about the diet, all about making sure that the players are always eating the right things. None other than Zinad Simji. Thank you so much for joining us here on your World of Champions as we celebrate, because we celebrate you as well. But I imagine it must have been very um, challenging putting together a great diet for all of the guys, their individual needs, especially in a country like Japan where they cuisine is not quite like any other nation in the world. It definitely was a challenge, but I think being a part of the squad during uh, rugby championship preparations also assisted me in planning for the World Cup and having to get to know the guys before then really assisted with getting to know what their preferences are like um, and how to work with their requirements to make sure that we could provide them with the best that they require to feel appropriately um, during the, the whole campaign. So wh what were your usual go-to foods for the players? <laughs> well, it, it very much depended on the goal, well, it was dependent on the goals. Um, Alad and myself, so we sat together and discussed what the training loads would be like. And depending on what the load would be on a certain day, it would then result in you know a certain item being placed on the menu. So I think the players really loved the days when sushi was placed on the menu just because <laughs> it was familiar. And, um, and of course, steak, whenever steak was on the menu as well, um, often got questions like, why are we always having rice and carbs and so much carbs? But it was really because of the conditions in Japan the players tend to use a lot of fuel. Um, you also need to rehydrate with a fluid and carbohydrate. So it was, there was a lot of strategy that went into it. And I'm glad that the chefs were amazing mm. in implementing the menus. Um, we would sit down with the liaison and they would translate everything into Japanese and learn the recipes so that they could provide what was on the menus. So it was great because I got to teach them some of South African items and they got to, you know, showcase the Japanese um, cuisines. Uh, we were talking to Coach Stick a little earlier and he quipped before we came on air, um, you better ask her why I am overweight. Why is that and why is it so difficult for us to follow routine, to follow our diets to the T? So I always said to Coach Stick that I'm here for the players. I'm here for the performance nutrition of the players and I'm not <laughs> the management dietitian. But um, I think also the items that were placed on the menus tend to be really enjoyable and the amounts are really what matters. So um, it really comes down to discipline and what your, your own um, discipline is like. So I think Coach Stick has really enjoyed whatever was placed on the menus. Too much, it <laughs> Too seems. Too much, definitely. <laughs> How has winning this Rugby World Cup with this team changed your life? It, it's, it's, you know, I can't even explain to you the emotions that you feel um, having known that the, the journey that I've been on and, you know, through adversity, what you have to overcome to eventually get to your goal and your dream job and for me it's, it's sort of stepping stones and you know where I want to be in my future this is just the motivation to keep continuing and to support other young individuals that are dietitians willing to be in sport nutrition because it was the very first time that South Africa had a dietitian as part of the national side wow. so i hope that other national teams will follow in their footsteps in the springboks footsteps and I, and I think you've shown the importance thereof in making sure that the nutrition is taken uh, care of just as much as uh, the physical side and the mental side is the world are teams moving in that direction you think i think the world has definitely begun moving in that direction south africa finally has jumped on board as well and it's just in the, at the end of the day Sporting itself is about the performance and everything that is required to support you know, the end goal of winning. And Rassi made it very clear that the main thing needed to say the main thing, but all of the allied or the support staff, we were there to make sure that everything ran smoothly and we supported that the main thing really say the main thing and they were able to do what they needed to do to their full potential. Did you allow the team to pick out a little bit after that final? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I just let go and let them do what they wanted to do because it was a celebration. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Zinat. I know that you, your role, uh, while it may seem very, very small, made all of the difference in, in a climate that is different, in a country with a cuisine that is different as well. So thank you so much for joining us tonight, and congratulations on that victory. Thank you.